my memory, of course, is totally gone. So tell me <laughs> what you remember of how we put this proposal together. Okay, this is what I remember. I remember that you said, could you send me a proposal, the format uh, that you like, uh -huh, and I'll take right. a crack uh -huh. at it, and we'll see what happens. Uh -huh. And I said, sure. So I sent you a proposal that I was very successful with, big auction, sold it for a lot of money. And it, it was a great proposal, and it, was a, it turned out to be a great book. Anyway, so you took that, you read it, in maybe 10 days you sent back your take on it. So it started with the prologue, so you had an excerpt of what you could anticipate your book might ultimately uh -huh. be. So you, because you're a fiction writer, you had the skill set to be able to write as if you've interviewed somebody in the future and mm -hmm. this is their story. This is the sort uh, of story that will be right, in my I'm book. I'm remembering it now. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And it was great, by the way. And um, so that's how you started. And then you had an overview, meaning, hi, I'm Steve Pressfield. I know you know uh, me yeah. from, you know, <laughs> Falcon uh -huh. Crest or uh -huh. whatever. Um, but I've written novels before. This is my first crack, blah, blah. So, and then you had um, sources, you know, your plan, what you were going to do, how you were going to do it. And then ultimately you had time frame, like this is how long it's going to take me, et cetera. And I don't think you had any more than that. Your proposal wasn't more than 25 pages. Uh huh. So when uh, first crack, it was 70% there. But remember I told you earlier the questions around that editorial table that would arise? Oh, right, yeah. Pressfield's not a journalist. Uh -huh. He's not going to be able to pull it off. Uh -huh. He thinks he's going to do this in two years. There's no way. Uh -huh. He's got to go find Shlomo from uh -huh. 1967. How's he going to do that? So that, that's everything that was circulating in my mind. And the other thing that, that the proposal lacked was a definitive throwdown statement. And that is really what every editor wants. Rather than a calculated, you know, this I've might, figured out what the market wants and I'm going to do, you know. As a, as a student uh -huh. of military nonfiction, uh -huh. I can say that there are 27 million Jewish people in the United States who would be interested uh -huh. in hearing this. Uh -huh. Nobody wants to hear that. Uh -huh. So that's what you sort of lacked there because you were, you, were, uh -huh. you were prancing around a little bit trying to find your way. Uh -huh. And then you called and said, what do you think? And I said, dude, your proposal's called the Six Day War. But the penultimate moment is when they go through the Lion's Gate. What is this book about? What is this book about? And you're like, well, you know, the theme, I'm, it's going to come along. Uh, like, <laughs> it's about Jewish identity. It's about claiming what is rightfully yours. And you're like, OK, OK. And I'm like, the title's The Lion's Gate because it takes a man to go through the hell to finally get through uh -huh. the gates of, you know me, uh -huh. right? I've right, really right, right, right. Cecil B. DeMille did right uh -huh. up to that. Um, and then you were like, okay, I get it. And then two days later, you sent back something, and I'm like, okay, we're going out with it today. Uh -huh. And I sent it to the 15 top editors in this arena and we had a two and a half week auction. Every single publishing house in Manhattan wanted your book. And it took two and a half weeks of everybody progressively offering more for you to not right. have enough money to finish your book. <laughs> I have written about wars of other people, but never about my own people. What's the theme, what's this about, right? This throwdown statement is why Steve Pressfield.